Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. For those who are new here and for those who are not, so welcome back. Today I have a tutorial on this look right here. Before we get started, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe before you guys leave. As well as don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I will have everything on the screen as usual. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the e.l.f. Uh, what is this? The e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer and this is in the shade Fair Warm and I'm just using this as a base for my eyeshadow. I went ahead and carved out my brows. I'm going to go ahead and put it all over the lid and I'm not going to set it with powder just because I want that tacky texture. So I am going to be jumping around to different palettes this time. I tried to stick with into like one, but I don't know. It just kind of happened. So first I'm going to go into the Violet Voss palette. This is the Best Life palette. Best Life palette. And I'm going to go into the shade called Sunset. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to frame out the eyeshadow. I'm putting this in kind of like a rainbow form. And I'm just going to pack it on. I'm not going, I'm not going to be blending it out yet. And I'm just applying it with a Sigma Medium Sweeper brush, the E54 brush. Okay, so now I'm going into the James Charles palette and going with the shade 518. I'm going to use this color to start blending out that last shade that we applied with. And I'm just taking this on a Sigma Diffused Crease, br crease Brush. This is the E38 brush. I'm just applying little by little. Um, and I do go in with that last brush and that last shade just to start to add a little bit more if I needed to. So going again into the James Charles palette, I'm going in with the shade called B and I'm taking that on a Makeup Shack T43 brush and I'm just going to start to blend out that last shade just so that there's no harsh lines and just so that yellow pops at the very, very top. Kind of like our transition shade but put at the very end. Now I'm going in with the shade called 10% Off and my Sigma E25 brush and I'm just using this to kind of deepen up the crease just a tiny bit just so when I cut my crease you'll still be able to see that definition and it won't disappear with like the lid color that I'm going to place on there. Now to continue to deepen up the crease, I'm going in with the shade No Beans <laughs> and I'm taking that on the Small Taper Blending Brush from Sigma, the E45 and I'm just going to keep adding it to the crease and a little bit more towards the outer edge of the eye and taking a little bit more of that 10% off shade just to kind of blend everything in, make sure that there's no harsh lines. Now I'm just grabbing a little bit more concealer and my flat concealer brush and I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease. I left the whole process here just so you guys can see how I do it and everything. And then, what else? What was I going with this? I don't remember, but just so you guys can go see like the whole process. Okay, so now to blend out that concealer, I'm just taking a clean brush and just kind of tapping out the outer corner just so when you put more shades on top of that, there won't be any harsh lines. And then I'm going to go in and set that inner part of the cut crease using the Violet Voss Little Mini Rainbow Palette. And I'm just going in with that white shade that's in there. And I'm just setting that very inner corner of it. I'm not going all the way towards the outer edge. And I like this one just because the shade, when it shifts in certain light, it looks yellow. And then to set the outer edge, I'm going back into that Best Life palette from Violet Voss again. And then I'm going in with the shade called Friends. And I just ended up applying it with my finger on just because I get more pigment that way. And then I'm just putting that on the outer corner just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with the shade 10% off again using that E25 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of that on the outer corner. As I'm applying these next shades, I'm going to go ahead and start to flick it out more like a wing liner. And then I'm going to go in with the shade No Beans and just apply it right in the very, very outer corner. And just slowly start to flick it out. And I was just using the Sigma E45 brush. And then I'm just going back and forth with those shades just to kind of make sure everything is nice and blended. Then going in with that Sigma Gel Wicked Liner. And I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. But I'm not going to create a wing just because I am going to smoke it out later. Okay, now taking the shade Spooky, I'm going to go ahead and start to smoke out that liner. I am first going to just keep it right in there. I'm not right in there. I'm going to go ahead and just start to smoke the liner and not drag it out yet. Because then I'm going to go in with the shades. What shades am I going to go in with? Uh, no beans and 10% off just to kind of make sure everything is nice and blended and nice and smoked out. The lashes I'm going to be using are in the style Favorite and these are from Glamify Me. I'm just going to go ahead and pop those on and then I did clean up that eyeshadow just to create a little bit more of a sharper line. You could just kind of leave it really really like smoked out like that but I just wanted to kind of sharpen it up so I did clean it with the makeup wipe. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Timeless Moving Primer and I'm just going to apply this on my T-zone or wherever I tend to get like creasing throughout the day. So on my smile lines, that's where I applied it just to kind of fill in all those pores and fine lines and all that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use another primer or I'm going to use it as primer. But this is the MAC Strobe Cream. Mine's the one with the gold glitter or the gold shimmer in it I like this one just because it hydrates your skin a little bit more I didn't know that it had skincare in it or someone told me it had skincare in it I don't know if it's true but I like how it looked anyways I'm gonna go in with my foundation this is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and I grabbed a shade too light when I went to go pick up my backup so but it's okay we're gonna make it work it's fine anyways um, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender and then I'm going in with some concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender as well. Now I'm going to set my under eyes using my Airspun Translucent Powder. Mine is in the shade Naturally Neutral or Naturally Neutral? Translucent? Naturally something? Naturally something. I will have it down below. <laughs> and then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. And mine is in the shade, what is this? Nude Beige. Now to bronze up my face, I'm going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I finally got a new one because the last one, like whatever was left, I dropped it and it broke. So I finally got a new one and I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. To define a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this Morphe bronzer. This is in the shade Debutante and I'm just going to go right in the hollows of my cheekbones just to kind of add a little bit more definition. For blush, I'm going in with the Sigma blush. This one is in the shade Corderosa and I'm just applying it using my Japanesque little fluffy brush, blush brush. <laughs> 
finished off the eyes, I'm going to go in with the shade B from the James Charles palette. And I'm just taking that on my Sigma E54 brush and I'm applying that on the bottom of my eyes. And then I'm going in with the shade 518 and applying it a little bit closer to the lash line just to start to add a little bit more definition. And then I'm going in with the shade, what shade am I going to go in with? Oh my gosh, if I would take any longer. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go in with the shade 10% off and just start to smoke out the bottom lash line. Um, I'm applying quite a bit of this just because I'm going to go ahead and apply a liner, which is the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. I'm just applying that on the bottom as well. And then I'm going in with the shade Spooky, which is just a black shade from the James Charles palette, just to start to smoke out the lower lash line even more. And as always, I'm always going to apply a base to my inner corner. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply that shade from the Rainbow Palette from Violet Voss, that fun size little Rainbow Palette, that white that I went into for the cut crease. I'm going to apply that also on the inner corner as well. And now for highlight, I'm going into this little mini Laura Geller palette. This is called the Life Glows On Illuminator palette. And I'm going in with the shade called French Frizz. And honestly, or French Fizz. It looks like Laura Geller's um, Gilded Honey, just a lot lighter. Because it's still really, really gold. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this wherever I want to highlight. Down my nose, on my cheekbones, on my chin, all that. And then for lips, I'm going in with the Shayla and ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is in BFF3, which is like the lighter pencil, lip pencil. And then I'm going in with MAC Little Lipstick. This is in the shade Bare Bling into the center and just going to blend that in. And I'm setting my face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. final look i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe before you guys leave as well as don't forget to follow me on all my social media i will have everything on the screen as usual and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye Oops. what is going on Tengo un pelo. Este pelo. Siempre, como siempre, estando... No, no, no. What is going on with this hair? En el próximo... No, 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 no. <laughs> Who decides to wear a long sleeve when it's like 90 degrees outside? Me.